What's up guys, Fang Dad Hat. I'm here to talk about the elephant in the room this week. Unless you've been living under a rock in Dead Eye Canyon, you've probably heard that trading has been removed. They snuck it right in here next to the NFL fan pack in some stupid bundle. And I know personally that a bunch of you guys in this community are going to be really, really really disappointed and sad about this. Not just mad. I'm pretty mad about it because it's just the latest in an onslaught of things that Rocket League is not doing and now undoing. But I think it's taken further by the fact that there's a lot of people that spend their entire life on Rocket League within this trading. Uh, one person in this community that I can think of right away is Mini Cat. Um, he comes in and talks about trading all the time. And he has a spreadsheet. And I know there's multiple people out there that have spreadsheets with all the items that they have and all the items that they want. And I'm disheartened by it too. I think it's just the beginning of Rocket League winding down. I, I don't think, I know that there was the leak a while back um, that said that, that Unreal Engine 5 was going to be, that, that the game was going to be on Unreal Engine 5 and, and all this stuff that would allow them to now do more things that they couldn't do. I'm not a programmer. I don't know how to design video games, but I can tell you that I don't think that's I don't think that's fully accurate. Like, I feel like there's a lot more that they could do with the game. We can already see, like, some of the things that they can do with the game, right? But this is going to be really, really, really bad for the community. And it's it's killing off a portion of the community that that was still keeping the game going as an, a, a passion. And, a, and someone, people being excited about the game. You know, I think... When you're first starting out in the game, you're not very good at it. Um, you're bopping around. You 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 probably meet some friends or make some friends that are much more skilled at the game with you than you. And and items becomes the thing that that new players, especially younger players, focus on. I have a seven year old Tiger Shark. He's just loving Rocket League, and he's he's so excited about the gameplay, but he's also now getting into the items. He's not old enough to trade yet, but he's old enough to understand the value of the items. And I fear that now he's going to just be one of those Fortnite kids that wants to just buy the next item and ask for, can I get some V-Bucks? Can I get some V-Bucks? Can I get some Rocket League credits so I can buy this new item that's come out? And... I honestly don't think it's going to take as well as Fortnite has taken. I mean, there's the dynamics of Fortnite of going out and playing in the game and emoting to each other is different than a Rocket League car flying by you for two seconds in a game. Most people leave lobby right away. Um, I think that that I don't think that they're going to sell as many items as they think they're going to. I think this is just going to continue to to really hurt Rocket League. And Rocket League's already been hurting so much. Um, so it's super disappointing. And I don't know why they're doing this. I think they're just trying to make it easier for themselves. Obviously, this is no one at Psyonix's probably fault. I think this is Epic Games doing what they do. And it's just a bummer. The Rocket League community wants to see more things added to the game. They want to see the game enhanced. They want to see new, exciting things just to bring them into the game. And they don't do that. They don't even do drops anymore. I mean, when's the last time you saw a drop on Twitch? And that's something that they could really do that would really help their community, would really help the streamers on Twitch it, it, that stream Rocket League, that keep this game going on a daily basis people like myself and others that are out here all the time streaming the game, keeping the game going and they don't even do drops. It's been like over a year probably since they've done a drop on rocket league. And it's, it's something that they can just pull out of their butt and give to you. Like it's just an item that looks like another item and maybe it's got a silver shine and, or maybe it's, 
you know, cuts this direction instead of that direction is what all their drops are. But yet we still do it, right? We still go tune into Rocket League on Sunday and try to watch the championship, the, the grand finals, because we want to get that item, you know? We'll throw that lurk up. Well, we throw that lurk up for you, Rocket League. Why don't you allow drops for the rest of the community so that that we can throw so they can throw that lurk up for us, for us streamers that are out here on the streets grinding for you every day. So Rocket League doesn't care about you. They don't care about the community. They don't care about their streamers. They don't care about really anything. I think Epic just wants Rocket League to stop being a pebble in their shoe. That's what it sounds like to me. So that their big money makers like Fortnite, that you know, the kids that come back to Rocket League after they they uh, uh they go back to so they leave Fortnite because they're too old for Fortnite, then they go to Rocket League, and then they get peaked out in Rocket League, and then they go back to Fortnite. Well, they want those kids to stay on Fortnite. They don't want them to bounce back and forth. They want them to stay in Fortnite, not come back to Rocket League inevitably eventually when they 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 want to come back. So Anyway, me and my titanium white octane are going to keep playing the game and keep loving it because to me playing Rocket League is more like going out and shooting hoops with my friends. Like that doesn't change. Like nothing new, no new features come out uh, when me and my friends go play basketball and shoot some hoops, but it's still fun nonetheless to play some 2v2 hoops. And I, I get the same thing out of it. And that's what happens when I play some Rocket League. Like I'm getting that same thing out of it. I don't need gimmicks and added features to, to help me enjoy this game. I love it. Even when I peek out and I'm in the same stuck in diamond three again this season, like I was the last two seasons and I finally got to champ and now I'm stuck back here because of the MMR. I don't care. Cause I'm still having fun. I'm still seeing competitive games. I still get to visit my brain dead solo queue teammates and I still love the game. Nothing's changed about it, but the features that bring in new players and keep this game exciting and interesting and, and get the, the bubbles on your skin bubbling, that that's being taken all away. And it's just really sad. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. And I uh, hope you guys hit that sub and that like button. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. I love you guys.